Everyone talks about love, about true love in Uganda, in East Africa, uh, Africa, and the rest of the world. Everyone talks about true, true love, and uh, I find people have questions for that. Because what, does, what is in everyone's mind is, does true love really exist? You'll find out in today's episode. Welcome. I'm called Last, Last King. That's the name I use on YouTube. Personally, you can call me Paul. So if you're new, you can, you can subscribe. I have a video talking about what my channel is all about. So you can watch that video. If you like it, you can comment on it and uh, subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, I also welcome you back. Yeah, I'm glad to have you here. So today I'll be talking about true love. But before I talk about true love, let me talk about love. Love is an intense feeling, uh, an intense feeling of affection you have for someone. Here I mean like you view, you view someone as awesome and desirable based on your beliefs, judgments, and uh, experiences like that. So once you decide like someone is attracted to you mentally, and mentally and physically, there now love becomes a biological process. Your body takes over what your mind already knows. And uh, that's why you now you have that feeling like someone is so amazing and uh, you want to build that person. So that's how best I can, I can describe uh, love. I don't know how you can describe love. Even the greatest uh, love writer, Shakespeare, Okay, died centuries ago. Uh, you also read his own description of uh, love. Then also true love. Uh, true love is when you feel attached to someone, you feel that connection, and like you're happy with someone. You do anything you can to, to make sure you're really connected to that person, regardless of what happens. And you find, uh, uh, you, you find like you give, you give each other time, you are honest with, honest with each other, you communicate more, you accept someone with all their flaws, yeah, you truly love someone. Then you also find people meeting each other's expectations, then you also find yourself uh, living with the, someone you love, because they trust, the honesty, and all those things. So let me go straight to the signs, the signs that uh, your relationship uh, has true love. First of all, the first one is uh, you find like nothing should be hidden in a true relationship. So here like uh, you trust each other, you tell each other all the secrets, you know, all the secrets you have, uh, even uh, checking each other's phones. You find that people, people don't want uh, to check each other's phones uh, due to fear. Maybe uh, you find someone hiding those uh, secrets, so you have to keep it open and uh, you check each other's phone. Then, then you also you so you find yourself very open with your partner. All the plans you have, if uh, if someone maybe has a problem, see like people are not really open enough. That's why you have to really communicate with your partner. So you communicate, you tell that person, you tell that person what is bothering you, and uh, you don't keep anything to to yourself. So yeah, you're totally open about everything about your relationship. Then also the other thing, another sign can be uh, can be respect. You have to really, if if you find yourself like respecting each other. That means your relationship is uh, is going on in the right direction. It's a it's a true relationship because when you respect each other, you that's when you develop that trust. You find yourself loving more. So if you have that aspect in the relationship, that means that's an indicator that it's a uh, it's a true relationship. Then uh, then uh, then also playing games. You shouldn't you shouldn't play games in your relationship like cheating. Uh, someone who someone who cheats, someone who cheats on you, that person doesn't want the best for you. Okay, people have different reasons for cheating, and I talked about the cheating bit in the previous uh, episode in detail, so you can refer to that. But uh, someone for true love, 
the cheating has to be very minimal, even or even not there at all. Because then, if someone can cheat, maybe like once in a while, and doesn't mean like some, when someone cheats, that that person wants uh, the worst for you. Yeah, so you you shouldn't play games. Yeah, so you have to you have to be honest to your to your partner. Then also, then you have to then also caring about uh, someone's welfare, each other's welfare, because you find like uh, partners have their personal needs. So you really have to when you find yourself being there for your partner, you buy for your partner gifts, you buy for them their belongings, anything that they want. Yeah, it shows that actually like your relationship is uh, is heading to the direction of true love. Anyway, this issue of welfare can cut across a uh, small, can short-term relationship, uh, medium-term relationship, and long-term relationship. Because all of them can, of course, welfare is needed. You find that people, someone feels cared for, it's, uh, like when you meet their personal needs. Yeah, the person feels cared for, and uh, it really assure that you're heading to the right direction. And then the other thing is you don't have to focus on your uh, your partner's uh, flaws. So you find you find like uh, someone wants to wants the best for you. So when you when you when you don't focus on someone's flaws, you you try maybe like to correct them in case someone makes a mistake. Or well, you find like uh, someone maybe like you make one mistake like this and uh, that person gets. As the person takes you as imperfect, but there's no one who is perfect in this world. So, and also you find uh, people like in uh, abusive relationships. Being in an abusive relationship does not mean that uh, you're really there for someone. You don't have to uh, have that feeling like I have to be there during the worst times. No, you you have to you have to be in a relationship whereby. You shouldn't. If someone should not treat you so badly, they all maybe like end, ends up beating you. So you have to uh, accept someone, someone's flaws, and you have to accept that like, someone is not uh, perfect. Then you mold them into the into the perfection you want. So if you if you have that uh, if you have that thing of uh, you have the thing in your relationship, that means it's going on well. So you don't have to be so hard on your partner. You have to go slow on them. With time. As the relationship is ongoing, they will uh, become better to the person you really want to. You want them to. Then the other sign is you have to be kind. You know, like uh, if someone is kind in the relationship, you have to be, you have to be friendly. You have to be generous. You know, you should be everything to your partner. You don't have to be only social partners. There, there's a moment you should be your partner's best friend. You talk to you talk to him or her as your best friend. You talk to him or her as your friend. You talk to him or her as your brother or your sister. I mean, like, uh, like you guide that person. You be so kind and uh, you be like nice to them. There, they will really feel that love and affection. And for the case of and for the case of the ladies, when you when you really when you really take care of them and show them that kindness, they will actually like love for a very long time. For the case of the guys, for the case of the men, it's not a guarantee. So you can just take that risk. But for me, as a human being, when you treat someone nicely, that person will treat you nicely also back. Then the other thing is uh, staying during the tough times. You know, being in the relationship is not a guarantee to have everything on, like going on well. But there are moments where you have uh, ups and downs. Things will be maybe you have a financial crisis, or you or your partner gets a problem, or they or, or something just happens. You know, like someone else becomes in the relationship. So you have to be there for that person throughout all that time. You communicate more. You, 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 yeah. You communicate. You talk to each other about it, but like not like really maybe like running away or trying to cheat. Because when you uh, in Africa here, I find people like maybe like men they try to express maybe their maybe if you're not perfect or you're not things are not going on well. Someone decide to cheat in a way of trying to make things better.
maybe like better for himself or for herself. Okay, like here now someone can be doing that in their own selfish interest, which is not a which is not a good thing. Then also, of course, happiness. You should have that happiness in your relationship. That's a sign that uh, everything is. Uh, that's a sign to show like things are going on well. So when you you are happy, the guy is happy, the lady is happy. Uh, things will go on well. Your relationship, you will find it even lasting longer beyond the short-term relationship, which is zero to two years. A medium-term relationship, uh, which is two, three to five years. Then uh, beyond that, that is a long-term relationship. So when you are happy from the start to the end, of course, uh, you saw that you'll be happy every day. There are some moments where you'll be unhappy. Things will happen. But once you're happy, everything will go on as you want. Then uh, keeping promises. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll actually end with that. That's another sign. You have to keep promises. What you promise your partner, you when when you keep those promises, it, that will be another sign that your relationship is going in the right direction. So, because everyone wants to, everyone wants to get or receive what the other partner promised them. Yeah, so that is it about true love. True love is like the pinnacle of success or achieving a milestone. It's not something you'll achieve in one week or one month or one year, two years, three years. It's something you achieve over a long period of time. So, and true love is patient, it's kind, it's honest. You have to give each other time. You you have to accept your partner the way they are. Don't uh, criticize your partner. You support each other. You you view things from each other's perspective. You don't judge each other. So you you understand each other so well. That's when it will last. So when you reach like uh, six, seven, eight years, that's when beyond. That's when you you start now take, taking it as like true love. Because by that time, when you have undergone everything that and everything love has to, everything that happens in love, you have undergone all that, the troubles, the long distance, ups and downs, and the cheating bit, like you're now used to everything. So I'll end this video here. Next, I'll be talking about, I'll be answering up for your question. So um, if, you have any, if you have any question to ask, so if you have any question to ask, you can um, you can maybe send me on FB, on WhatsApp, or even comment on this video. Or oh, anyway, uh, some of you now I'm getting to know you personally. Some people already asked their questions, so I'll be answering those questions in the next episode in the coming days. So that's what I'll do. If you reached this point and you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If you have not commented, please comment. If you have not liked, please like. Um, I'm happy you have actually reached this point and thanks for watching. See you soon. Lots of love.